The education model we have now was designed in the 19th century, basically. It's a teacher standing in front of a blackboard with 30 kids at desks. You know, if we know anything about how kids learn uh, these days, it's that different kids learn in different ways. It is a crime. It's not terrorists that's going to destroy America. It's urban public education if we don't do something about it. I don't know where the money's going. The equipment is destroyed. There's graffiti everywhere. The teacher tells the parent, oh, this is a good school. When I said, lady, your kid can't read or add two and two. What do you mean it's a good school? Well, my name is Bob Bowden, and I made a film called The Cartel, which is a documentary expose on the waste and fraud sometimes and poor performance of public education. Education is a business that has a monopoly. I mean, you have a monopoly, you can do whatever you want. As a journalist, I, I approached it. It's not, I'm not a parent. Um, I approached this really as a story that was one of the least covered stories in, uh, and, and most important stories, I think, in our society. You know, if you watch the presidential debates, there's almost nothing mentioned about education. In fairness, it is more of a local and state story than a national one. But nevertheless, there tend to be an a anecdotal, one-off stories about this school or maybe this principal or a certain teacher that may be good or bad. And what I hadn't found is much in the way of uh, um, material that had combined it all, aggregated all this information to kind of tell one picture. Corruption is out there. Rampant, pervasive, institutionalized. There are great public schools. Uh, there are great teachers in public schools. There are horrible schools. There are even some good teachers in the horrible schools, by the way. Uh, but the bottom line is, is it's, it is obvious to anyone that's looked at any of the data that some of these schools some of the worst schools are terrible. They have, they have guns and drugs and gangs, bloods and crips. They're violent. Some of the teachers are, are horrendous. They're never fired. They have guaranteed jobs for life. And the argument that this should be acceptable or we should just throw money at the problem to uh, alleviate our guilt is, to me, that answer's got to be over. It's time to step up and face this problem. We had a, a teacher who didn't have good control over his temper and punch kids, slap kids, slap kids regularly. You take a stance and you're going to lose your job. They play dirty because there's so much money involved. In Newark, for example, we have I think well over 400 administrators making more than $100,000 a year. It's wasteful and needs to stop. I used to wonder not why parents weren't protesting, but why aren't parents lighting fires and breaking windows? It's not about party. We go a long way in the film to say we show both Republicans and Democrats that are uh, that say many of the same things in this film. So it is, yeah, no, that, that's a mistake to make it about one party. That's a kind of a way to, I don't know, um, uh, put it in a corner and kind of uh, box it into, uh, you know, a certain set of ideas, which, you know, this is about everybody. It's about helping kids learn. There's all kinds of facets of education to, to look at. There are teachers, administrators, parents, unions, politicians, uh, superintendents, there are all kinds of forces that come together that form our policy. You know, I really think that there are people that are, get money from the current system that want nothing to change. They want to sometimes say uh, reform sounding uh, thing. You know, they want to sort of uh, tell the public that they're for these certain reforms while secretly working against those very reforms. So it's, it's um, you know, I believe in power to the parents, decentralize it, break the monopoly, and, you know, it's funny, vouchers are this, is this vilified term, like it's supposed to be so evil to let parents have choice in schools. Uh, like letting kids out of some of those worst, horrible urban schools, it would be some sort of evil initiative, but sending them back into those schools is okay. Every resident of Newark deserves a quality, public, free school that they can go to. There are really human lives affected by this. Number 54, Mia James. Number 55, Cassandra Alicia. There's this point in the movie where the mother whose daughter gets into the charter school is jumping for joy, leaping her, she has to run out of the room because she's worried about celebrating in front of the parents who have not gotten the charter school lottery. <laughs> God is awesome. Oh, God. Awesome, God. What, what, what does this mean to you guys? It means the greatest opportunity that could ever come to my daughter's life. They have a chance. They, they have a chance. The poor kids are kind of like, let's forget about them. 
let's shove them off in the corner, we'll throw some money at the problem. If they're not learning, who cares? They can't learn anyway. They're, they're too poor to learn. That's, that's really, I mean, it's, it sounds awfully cynical, but there's a lot of truth in that. And, um, and I think that it's a crime. You know, who's going to pay for more and more kids that can't read and then become essentially wards of the state or can't have really much in the way of a 21st century job as we become, as we compete with the world? And so if you break apart the system and let different schools form, private schools, and let kids just take the money and go to those schools, some can go to vocational schools or to culinary schools or to arts schools or to some schools that do lots of standardized testing and other schools that do maybe very little standardized testing and science and math schools and you can basically let all these different experiments flourish and it's what we have in the university system by the way and in fact it's what we have in the preschool system where parents pick their own whatever school they want for for preschool and that's heralded by the establishment as a good thing in fact, even in the healthcare debate, if you listen to the administration, all they're, all they're doing is talking about how a, uh, a public option would help, private, would help the insurance business because there'd be competition. And they say competition's great. Apply those same arguments to education. Yeah, I have kids who have graduated with diplomas from Camden High and Woodrow Wilson who don't know how to read for 12 years. What did you do with that child? What did you do with the money? My name is Bob Bowden, director of the movie The Cartel, and you're watching Real Black.